Hello and welcome back to the channel, Romel Private Investigator. I'm Romel and my company is Access Diversified Investigations. So I'm going to get right into things. What I want to talk about today is descriptions, especially during this time of uh, COVID, COVID-19. So generally when we look at descriptions, we're looking at what, what's standardly done, what's oftentimes done, we, we hear it all the time, uh, someone, someone rather will ask you, well, how tall was the person? Uh, how much did they weigh? <laughs> uh, they'll mention whether they had or did not have a, a mustache, whether they were clean shaven, whether they had a beard, uh, what color their hair was, and in some cases, um, their eyes. What color did their, their eyes at least appear to be? And so, that's, that's very general. It's very general. It is not by any means very helpful because it's too standard. A lot of people, just on information like that alone, a lot of people will fall into that category. So as a private investigator, a security officer responsible for providing information to the police or some other responding agency, these things become very critical. Not to mention, mind you, if you are a person in search of another person, regardless as to what that reason might be, these things are very important if, in fact, you are going to find that person, or at least come close to it. So what I suggest to you is this. What you want to look for are those things that are most unusual about that individual as compared to someone else. I want you to hold that thought for a moment, just for one moment, and let me take you to a more comfortable place. So when one says to you, well, gee, how tall was this person? They're going to say, oh, they're about five feet. Five, they're about six feet. Oftentimes, they're off and probably more times than not, very much off. So when you are trying to explain to another party how tall a person was, the best way to do that, in my opinion, mind you, is to start with yourself. You know how tall you are. So how much taller is that person or was that person than yourself? What about complexions? Oh, they were dark complected. They were Carmel. I mean, all of these nice, beautiful shades of, uh, of humanity. But at the end of the day, it's not very helpful because one's, one person's sense of Carmel is different than, let's say, another. So again, once again, we go back to making comparison to yourself. Was the person a little bit lighter than you? Perhaps substantially lighter, darker, or substantially darker. Pale compared to you, and so forth. So people get a better sense of who they're looking for with respect to, of course, description. Now, what about weight? Oh, my God. God, you talk about weight and you trying to explain what a woman looks like and you, and you mention weight. That could be a very dangerous place to be. I'm joking. I, I'm joking. Pay me no mind. But in any event, when you look at weight, what you want to recognize, again, comparison to yourself. Some people are, you hear a lot of people say, well, it was a chubby person. Or they'll say it was a fat person. Fat where? Some people have fat heads. Some people have fat midsections. Some people have fat thighs. Some people have fat legs. Fat wear. It is not tremendously uncommon to see someone who has a big protruding stomach and a small virtually every place else. And they're not always pregnant, mind you. And of course, they're not always a woman. So again, Making some rational comparison between yourself is what makes your ability to be uh, importantly descriptive. 
And so this is something you have to keep in mind. Now just for another note, you also must keep in mind, let's look at a, a woman with a very, very deep baritone voice. Isn't that something that we don't come in contact with often? Or even perhaps a man with a very, very high voice, so much so that he sounds like uh, what we normally equate to uh, being a woman. Again, very important. As we move on, this is critical and extremely important. So when you look at a person and you make a description, what's also important are those things that are fairly non-traditional with respect to saying what a person look like in your view. Did the person have an accent? Is it an accent that people are familiar with? Did the person sound as though they had an accent associated with being uh, Hispanic, for example? And I realize not all Hispanic accents are the same. I realize that. And someone may be more familiar with a particular uh, uh, um, accent than I. But the object is to introduce that as a part of the uh, description. And so, again, uh, a Jamaican accent. These things are important. Does the person talk with a slur? Does, does the person speak with a lot of slang in their general conversation? Uh, does the person have an unusual walking style? Does a person look walks in, in a way that they look they look as though something is actually wrong, a deformity or something of that sort. Now, some people think it's cool. That does happen. But it's an important uh, piece of information to have. So when you talk about hair, now, we all know, well, the hair was black, the hair was brown. Well, we know a lot of people are wearing an array of um, uh, hair styles, uh, some of which are inclusive of their own hair, and some not. Uh, some people wear a wig very well, others wear a noticeable weave. These things are important to look at when you are thinking with respect to describing an individual. Surely we all know whether if it was something that was showed the length versus something that went a little further or went a little higher. We all, we all know that. So again, if we look at uh, one of the things that we can still see during the COVID is a person's eyes. Did the person's, was there anything, um, oh, interesting, let's say, about the person's eyes? Did they have big eyes? Did the eyes just have a natural look of ex uh, excitement <laughs> or even uh, a natural look of some degree of uh, uh, luring, so to speak? Um, all of these things are very critical. Does the person uh, smoke? Or have you noticed the person smokes a lot? I'm not talking about weed, but that the person smokes a lot. These are things that you have to start looking at. You have to look beyond, let's say, the norm. It, 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 we, we have virtually a, a new norm at this time. But listen, in any event, I wanted to bring this to your attention. It's very important information. Uh, be you a private investigator or otherwise. Thanks for watching, and for more informative videos, remember to subscribe, click the notification bell, share with friends, and as I always say, dream with purpose, act with intent.